Hey everyone, before we continue, the sponsor for today's haul video is this alien shirt. Not really. We going. Hi everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of A Week in Geekdom. To all my wonderful subscribers, it's that time of the month again, haul time. This is for the month of May 2018. It's all the nerdy stuff I acquired in the month of May. To all the new subscribers, thank you so much. Each and every one of you make this channel that much better. So yeah, we're going to talk about books, toys, movies, and all that wonderful stuff in the geeky, nerdy world. Whatever. You guys know the drill. And if you're new here, sit back and enjoy. Let's begin with trade paperbacks because I love me some trades. And we're going to start with uh, DC Comics. Uh, this is Wonder Woman Volume 5 from uh, Rebirth, Heart of the Amazon. From Dark Horse, we've got Sherlock, Frankenstein, and the Legion of Evil. This is a spinoff from Jeff Lemire's Black Hammer over at Dark Horse. Really fun stuff. From Image Comics, we've got Postal Volume 4. I'm on my way to acquiring all of the Postal series, which has been pretty interesting. Next up, a bunch of Marvel trades. We've got Gwenpool Volume 4, Breaking the Fourth Wall. I should say the unbelievable Gwenpool, which has been really really interesting i cannot wait to finish the series and do a uh, a video for you guys because a lot of people wrote the character off as this silly gimmick but the story is actually pretty decent if i do uh, say so myself it's actually pretty good next up it's an uh omni bros uh recommendation if you will i got jeff parker's red hulk series you've got scorched earth planet red hulk I am missing the fear itself, which uh, did not arrive in time for this video, but the Hulk of Arabia, Haunted, M uh, Mayan Rule, which uh, is missing from a, uh, an in-stock trades package thing that did not arrive, uh, Red She-Hulk Volume 1, and Red She-Hulk Volume 2, which has not arrived yet. But yeah, I am very much looking forward to it. I've already... Uh, skim through a couple pages and it looks pretty fun i like what jeff parker writes and i can't wait to read his red hulk run moving on to hardcovers not a whole lot but it's pretty cool i got batman or detective comics rebirth volume 2 oversized hardcover i love this image this which got recalled or, or cancelled or whatever bprd hell on earth volume 2 there's a missing page in one of the stories here so they recall the book and if you made the purchase like i did uh or at least when it comes to ist or in stock trades uh, we will be getting a replacement copy and that is pretty awesome the leaders and customer support in my honest opinion really awesome i cannot wait uh this is fantastic and an omnibus because why not? Uh, got, uh, Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens Omnibus. It's supposed to be Gotham City, uh, Gotham City Sirens, but Harley Quinn is uh, a lot more marketable than just Gotham City Sirens. That's just a fact. Besides, it's it's cool either way. So yeah, this Omnibus is really cool. I love this series. I love the three gals. So that's it for books. That's kind of a small haul, but hey, it's pretty awesome nonetheless, I think. Let's move on to movies. I didn't get any manga, by the way, this uh, month, but uh, that'll soon change because I have some books on the way. Uh, let's do DVDs and, and, and Blu-rays and all that stuff. I don't know if I featured this on a previous video, but it is Naruto Shippuden set 34. This collects up to episode 444. We are nearing the finish line. It's f uh, 500? Was it 500? It's 500 episodes. And uh, yeah, so it should be, I think, four more DVDs and we're done. It will be a pain in the butt if at the end of it they're like, oh, we're, how about some Blu-ray sets? I'm like, no, I have spent 
a lot of years collecting the original Naruto series on DVD, the whole uh, deluxe box, set, box sets, and now with the single uh, releases for uh, Shippuden. And, and no, leave uh, Boruto the next generation as Blu-rays if you want, but yeah, don't, 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 I don't want to triple dip on this. Uh, moving on to the Blu-ray section, I did get Digimon Adventure Try, uh, uh, this is the fourth movie, Lost, I think. Uh, yeah, it's the fourth movie. We're missing two more. It's six movies, and I cannot wait. It's actually uh, pretty fantastic if you're a fan of the Digimon franchise. We got uh, Batman Ninja. I have not watched this as of this video, but that will soon change, and I'll probably do a video on it, because I like reviewing standalone uh, or, or uh, DC animated movies. I enjoy making videos for these uh, titles. A couple of 4K releases, I did get Star Wars, The Last Jedi. I won't say anything about this because uh, I, the most polarizing fan base ever are Star Wars nerds. I, I, I'm sorry. You guys are just a class unto itself. I'll just leave you alone. Uh, Black Panther 4K, I'm only missing Thor Ragnarok and I'll be up to date with my uh, MCU uh, Blu-ray movies. So yeah, that's it for uh, movies. Let's do figures and end this whole thing. Thank you to uh, Beto. Thank you so much for helping me acquire these uh, this Box Lunch Earth Day exclusive Wally Funko Pop, which looks awesome. And if you're wondering why the box is like this, it says at the back that the figure is 20% recycled material, the box is 80% recycled material, and the blister window box is 100% recyclable it, it's not uh, it's not focusing but yeah you, you get the picture next up it's a dual package I really want to thank my friend Josh he went out of his way to locate this bad boy for me you didn't have to do this at all but I uh, it's you already know this you're you're awesome um, yeah it was able to track down the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Thanos and I last video I showed you guys the Marvel Select and a lot of people are like whoa the Marvel Select has this epic sculpt and it looks so badass staring at them in comparison I got I, I, I gotta say I, I, I love that one it's badass don't get me wrong it's one of the best figures but I kind of like this just a tiny little bit more uh, it's more comic book accurate and I like comic book accurate figures that one is sort of an amalgam of movie comic and different original styles which looks badass don't get me wrong but this I really like it for some reason I don't I don't know I love the marbling effect on the blue costume and all that stuff I don't know I, I like it and as a surprise one of uh, my favorite Disney movies of all time is Hercules I don't know if you guys know that or know that but yeah Josh was kind enough to uh, track this down for me Hercules and Pegasus I love the Disney movie and this is actually my first pop ride so thank you thank you so much guys that's it for the month of May an interesting month next month should be a lot more crazier because a crap ton of omnibuses are being released and hardcovers and figures and I might be getting something really epic which uh, you'll have to wait at the end of the month to see so yeah guys thank you thank you once again for liking commenting subscribing following me on social media whatever Facebook Twitter Instagram all that stuff thank you you are the best and you make this show possible by uh, helping me and contributing uh, to the fandom you know it, it, it pumps me up uh, getting that support from you guys and it helps me keep moving forward with reviews and all that stuff so yeah as always thank you and I will catch all of you at our next installment So yeah, let's... The hell?